everyone and welcome back to my channel JRC Restoration Decor and Designs and my name is Phyllis. In today's video I am going to be sharing with you how I created my version of the bronze cracked horse statue. But first I want to share with you an unboxing of a wall art canvas that I received from a company that reached out to me to collaborate with them and share information about their company. So if you're interested in seeing this DIY of my version of the bronze cracked horse and this canvas art, then just keep watching. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. Here is a clip of the screenshot of the company. I will have their website link in my description box below. The company's name is tailored canvas and they work with amazing artists to create personalized canvases. All of that is done right here in the U.S. as well as being shipped from the U.S. They have all kinds of arts for your interests, whatever room, for all kinds of holidays and occasions as well as quotes and all kinds of styles. They can do art for weddings, retirements, baby showers, graduations, memorials, birthdays, anniversaries, you name it. You can also choose any size that they have here, which is three different sizes of your choice for whatever art, for whatever room and whatever wall you want to hang it in. So I'm going to share with you what I have chosen, which is, I'm not gonna say outside of my comfort zone, but it's not my norm, but I'm glad I chose it. And you will understand the reason why that I chose it later down in the video. And I wanna thank you all for stopping by. I'm so excited because I just got my package from Tailored Canvas and I still have it here in the box. Let me show you, I'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like. What I chose is beautiful, of course, on paper, but to actually see it in person, I'm so excited. So let's get this unboxed. Okay, so here is the box that my canvas art is in that I chose. And we're gonna look and see how the actual thing looks in person. I am so excited. Being a DIYer and actually just getting something that I purchased as opposed to making it. This is so exciting. So let's see. It's faced down. I'm going to close my eyes. Oh, it is. Oh, it is beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love this. It is going to be. I love the blues and the grays in it. Look, look, look. This is absolutely gorgeous. The canvas on it. The quality is so beautiful. And the detail of putting it together is so perfect. I absolutely love my artwork. Thank you, Taylor Canvas. I chose horses because of the meaning behind it, and I'll share that later down in the video. But I absolutely love it. Love it, love it. I will be getting more art pieces from Taylor Canvases. I will have my promo code and tailored canvases website linked in my description box below should you like to purchase a canvas art of your choosing. Now let's get started with this DIY. So here's my horse that I am going to turn into my own version of a DIY. Cracked horse. And what's going to make it really easy for me is the patterns that's already on this horse. I've already cut off the mane and the tail because I want to order some air clay, air dried clay to sculpt the mane and the tail myself. And if you all haven't seen my past videos of a horse, sculptured horse that I created, here it is. And I named this horse Ash because that's what it reminds me of. And I mounted it to a wood board piece and this one was my um, Christmas Clydesdale horse, and I named her Winter. 
Well, I am going to remake Winter also. I'll put a picture of what how beautiful she was when I had her, um, when I created her to be a part of a Christmas in July collaboration. So here I've already started using my hot knife to um, carve out the section that I want. And then you'll see a pin marking there. Um, I didn't want to carve out all of the white part. I just wanted some sections of it. And this did take time, even though this is a plastic toy horse, I had to lay the knife a certain way so it can actually just easily slide and follow the pattern like butter. And when I did find that little niche, it was easier to cut out the piece. So here I just sped up the um, camera. And this took a while to do. I only, in this video, you'll see where I just cut out four little openings. I think I ended up cutting out a fifth opening too when you see the final result. Okay, I'm pulling out that part and then I'm gonna show you the markings that I made for the other three sections like this here. I'm going to carve that out and then two more sections on this side of the horse I will be carving out as well. Okay, I have it all done. Now I'm getting ready to take it out of my backyard and spray paint it. Then I'll be bringing it back in to do a little more carving on it to do some painting over it to give it a bronze detailed look. Okay, it's painted. And I like the way he turned out. Now keep in mind, this is not the final look of my cracked bronze horse. I do have to do the bronzing, but to give it more of a cracked look, I'm pointing out here in some areas that I'm going to take it back in, and this is what I have done right here. I've taken it back in, and I've carved it some more with the hot knife, and to the point to where I only cut out another part right up there where you see right here, and then carved it where you see the brown. That's just from the pressing of the knife. I then take it um, back outside, spray painted it some more to cover that up with the black paint, which is what you see right here. I've taken it out and spray painted. Now here you can barely see it, but once I do this bronzing technique with this paint, it's going to give that look of cracking. So I had a little bit, which is really not much of anything, but just enough of this metallic gold to give this horse a bronzed look. And I love that much better. So I'm using this brush and making sure that I just dab it and just kind of wipe it off so that I can just you know just rub it to make it look like a bronzed cracked horse is what I'm going to call it but I like what it did to the supposed cracking but it looks more like veining to me so as I've stated I put it on the brush and I'm just kind of dusting around the horse I'm putting pressure on it but then I'll wipe off anything that's excess because I didn't want it to be too heavy um, as far as the painting I didn't want it to be too heavy on it so this is just giving more of an iron look I would say to make the, uh, the horse look like bronze metal and I love the way it turned out now what you see coming up here this is a video of a young lady that I watched and she has this cracked horse on her um, coffee table now this is what I might do to winter, um, getting the clay and forming that tail there and then the hair. That's what I want to do with the horse that I'm working on now. And then I may do this with the white horse that I showed you in the beginning of my videos. Now while the bronze horse is drying, let me show you what the canvas art that I received from Tailored Canvas looks like hanging over my fireplace, which I eventually took down and put on a different wall in my living room. So this is what I have before my fireplace right now and I'm getting ready to exchange that out for my canvas art that I just showed you all to hang that over my fireplace. Now here it is hanging above my fireplace mantle and I absolutely love it. Now because of the scale of the art piece, now again, if you should choose to order from Tailored Canvas, you choose the size that you want. My measurements were a little off 
as far as the scale hanging on this wall as far as the scale size of it hanging on this wall so you'll be seeing coming up another clip that i took where i took the horse canvas and put it on another wall but all in all i love this piece of art that i've chose from tailored canvas So I decided to change the picture and put it on this wall. Now in my research, I found that the horse is a majestic animal that embodies the spiritual power of independence, freedom, endurance, confidence, and triumphant. Basically, it's associated with strength, courage, and freedom. And that is what I love about the meaning of a horse. So when I'm creating these three DIY cracked horses or just merely statue horses they're not just that horses they are representations to me as strength courage and endurance now back to the completion of my diy so my air dry clay molding clay came in and i'm using one pack i did the main and i must say i did a good job <laughs> um whenever doing this clay and I'm using these sticks to kind of form that line. Now I'm using the rest of the clay that I have to make the tail. So this is what I'm copying. Now the hair is different, but I like what I've done here. So I'm going to go ahead and form it. And then once I put it on the tail and sculpt it, then I'll show it to you. Okay, I have my tail sculpted. It looks almost like an angel wing. But I made this part flat so it can sit right here. You can see where I put it there. And I curved it like this. So I'm gonna let it air dry hard. And then I'm going to get some E6000 or something to glue it there and to glue it here. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can sit it up here for you to kind of imagine. But it's going to go right there and I'm gonna curl it for it to sit there. So I'm gonna let it slave flat on a flat surface to dry so it can harden and then I'm gonna get some glue to glue it to this part and to the back of the leg and what I did was I took the, the skewer and just started kind of making lines the underside as well as the horse hair but it's gonna sit like that so I'm gonna pretty much let you just watch the rest of what I'm doing, just painting the mane and the tail, doing the same technique to the mane and tail that I did to the body of the horse. And then I'm going to be gluing the horse onto the piece of wood as well as making some, I guess you can call rock formations, spiked rock formations. And I'm using inspiration photos that I got off Pinterest, which you will be seeing here in just a few minutes. And if you stayed with me this far, I do appreciate your patience and I do thank you so much for your viewing support. Okay, so I glued the horse to this wood that I painted, and this is molded clay to look like, um, I don't know, it's not mountains, but kind of implementing what I saw on Pinterest. I'm going to, of course, paint this. Um, probably the same color as the horse, a mixture of the black and the bronze. And then I have some succulents pieces that I'm just going to intertwine in here but I'm loving the way this came out well here is my completed DIY cracked bronze horse sculpture sitting in a mountain peak rock formation and I really like the way this turned out and if this is your first time visiting my channel and you liked what you saw here today please consider subscribing and if you like to give it a thumbs up don't forget to share this video with your friends and family and i would love to read your comments 
And for my faithful viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for your continued and faithful support. I would also like to thank Tailored Canvas again for reaching out to me to do this collaboration. And I love the art that I chose for my home. And if you are interested in seeing what Tailored Canvas has to offer, I will leave their website link in my description box below. And there is a promo code Phyllis15 if you're interested in purchasing any art. Remember they have art for all rooms of your home, even the outside of your home, and for all styles. And again, I wanna thank you all for stopping by. JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.